Hello, Edgar, Nidia, Alejandro, good to see you here. How are you? How was your day today? How was, how was work? Nice to meet you. Hi, good evening. Nice meeting you. How, how was work today, guys and girls? It, it was pretty good. Very what about busy. you? Very busy? All right. Well, what do you do for a living, Edgar? Mm, it was um, it working till morning, like a little storm. Okay, all right. What about you, Alejandra? What do you do for a living? Ali? I put nails. Okay, all right, all right, very good. What about you, uh, Ever? What do you do for a living? Ever. Ever is not there. You guys, why do I see so, so few people today? Feature I'm working. Oh, okay, I got it, Ever. Don't worry, sir. Don't you worry. Um, Catherine, welcome. Nidia, welcome. What about you, Nidia? What do you do for a living? Nothing or everything. I don't know, guys. Hey, guys, did you... Um, the, the, how are you doing with the platform? Did you complete the midterm already? Yes, teacher. I'm all ready to. All right. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Anyhow, so. All right. So let's get started, guys. Okay. I know that um, we don't have too many people today. I guess everybody will be early. Is it is it raining where you're at, guys, or not? I don't feel it's too hot today, you know, like like yesterday, for example, right? So I suppose it's been raining somewhere. I live in San Salvador, so but I've been using my headphones, so I don't know if it's been raining, you know. Has it right, been raining? Yeah. Has, has it rained where fine. you live? No. No. Okay. All right. Pretty good, guys. Pretty good. All right. So, anyways, um, let's get let's get started, guys. So, um, we were talking, guys, about present participles and past participles being used as adjectives, right? Did we understand the topic, guys? One hundred percent clear as vodka Petrov, three thousand percent alcohol, or Coca Cola? Vodka. Water. Vodka, okay, <laughs> right. All right, all right, listen. So, so in today's agenda, guys, we are going to talk about a topic that I love. I love, 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 love this topic, okay? Because this is actually a topic from advanced English, okay? And this is actually a very, 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 very advanced topic, okay? So, um, so we are going to be talking about relative clauses, okay? Who's heard about relative clauses before? No, nobody? Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, why are you so quiet today? Yesterday you were more participative, but I don't know what happened. Why are you shy with me? All right, let's let's go, guys. I'm gonna make you talk, guys. If you don't talk, guys, you know what, guys? Whoever doesn't participate is gonna sing today, okay? That's what we're gonna do. All right. So if you don't want to sing, you have to participate. Got it? At least once, guys, okay? Got it. All right. Thank you. All right, very good, guys. Very good. So, anyways, let's get started, guys. So, guys, this is an extensive topic because it's really not – it's not difficult, right? It's not difficult, but it's really not that easy to understand if you don't pay attention. So, do my favorite, guys. Everybody turn on their cameras, okay? All right? 
porque I know, guys, right? I know, I know, right? Que crees estar ahí con la cobija, right? Acariciando a tu gatito, right? Y decís, voy a hacer que me, voy a arrullarme con la voz maravillosa de mi teacher, right? Right? I understand, right? I understand you want to do that, right? I know my voice is awesome, guys, right? I know. I know it's good for sleeping, right? Es buena para arrullar, right? My voice is really good for <laughs> for that, but um, but anyways, um, I do want you to pay attention here, guys, because if you do not pay attention, you are not going to understand what to do in the assessment. You know, you're not going to learn this. Okay, this is actually this requires a lot of attention, right? So, turn on the cameras, please, guys, and let's get started. Right. So the objective the objective for this lesson is going to be. Right, to use relative clauses to join two ideas into one. Okay, so let's talk about what a clause is. You know, let's talk about relative pronouns um, and then relative clauses, and we're gonna have, get some practice at the end. Okay, so um, by the way, guys, before before we meet, we even move on, all right, let's talk about the vocabulary that we're gonna be using. Okay, real quick, guys, tell me who is someone egotistical? What is being egotistical? Got it, Reina. What is what is this? Are you egotistical? Egotistical is someone. Who doesn't like, for example, sharing, right? Is that someone egotistical? Yes or not? Yes or no? No. It's like selfish. Egotistical? Like like what? I didn't get that. Is that someone selfish? Okay, yeah. It's someone who is selfish, right? Very good. All right. Okay. You're getting you're getting the point. Okay. Very good. So it's someone. It's someone who is selfish, okay? It can be selfish, all right? That's that's good, all right? Let's see, guys, what else? Um, what about someone stingy? Who is who is someone stingy, guys? A stingy is something you don't like to, to share or don't like to spend money. All right, it's more about money, right? Someone stingy is this, guys. I'll show you. <laughs> it's someone that doesn't like to spend a lot of money. Okay, all right. So someone stingy, right, is, is this. I don't know. This is an arm, guys, whatever. All right. So this right here, guys. <laughs> an elbow. <laughs> that's someone oh, stingy Daniel. yes or no right that's someone stingy right <laughs> do you like stingy people no no, no. 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 all right okay right right hey they say you they say you know they say that that people should not be stingy right like or if you, if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend be careful because if they're stingy right i mean i mean they have to have a balance, right? They cannot be like over overspending everything because they then you know they might be seen as irresponsible, right? But then they sh nobody should be stingy because if you're stingy in life for everything, imagine in love, right? Right? Si sos con el dinero, right? También con el amor, right? Yes or no? <laughs> yeah. Right? So so yes, guys. Okay, so you got to be careful with that. All right. So anyways, um. Sociable. Who's sociable? Who's so sociable is a right. person who, who likes to speak or share with everyone. Okay, right. Very good. Do you consider yourself to be someone sociable? Yes, I am very friendly Not person. Enough. Okay, sometimes I, okay. I, I like to be sociable. All right, easy going. What is someone easy going? 
uh, someone friendly. Someone who I is really friendly. Sociable. Okay, yeah, someone who is really friendly, right? It's really easy to make friends with that person. Uh, temperamental. What is who is someone temperam temperamental? Or temperamental. Okay, someone who is easy to upset, right? Easy to 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 get angry. angry. Right. Uh, unreliable. What about someone unreliable? That's insociable. This is perhaps the guys the the worst type of people that I the, the people that I hate. I really hate these type of people. There is nothing I hate more, guys, that than than people. <laughs> Not reliable. Oh, yeah. like, that reliable. Is kind of fake people. Well, Not yeah, but reliable. someone unreliable, guys, is someone you cannot trust, right? So it's someone you can't trust. Okay, that is someone unreliable, right? Why am I giving you all all of this vocabulary? I don't know. No, of course I know, guys. We're gonna use it, okay? <laughs> We're gonna use it. Don't worry. All right. Um. So you're gonna give me examples, and you're gonna use this vocabulary, okay? So guys, let's talk about clauses, okay? What is a clause, guys? Can somebody please help me read? Me, teacher. Yes. Thank you, Joanna or Yesenia. Yes. What do you prefer? Agreed. What do you prefer? The group of words containing a subject and predicate and function functioning as a member of a complex or compound sentence example right. that's of, okay that's okay of, thank you very much all right a plus for joanna guys thank you joanna thank you all right very good very good all right so be, before we continue um repeat guys functioning functioning Shani. Functioning. Right? Functioning. It's, not, it's, it's not it's not fu functioning or something like that, right? Functioning. Funk. Functioning. It's not function. It's funk. 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 Functioning. Very good. All right. Very good. Guys, so what do you understand, guys? It's a group of words that contain a subject and a predicate and function as a member of a complex one for that. Guys, I don't understand that. Basically, guys, it's a group of words, right? It's a group of words. So, number one, this is what a clause is. Number one, number two, and number three. This is, okay, a group of words, subject, predicate, okay? That is a clause, guys. Write that down, okay? Write that down, ladies and gentlemen, because that is a clause. So, let's, let's, let's take a look at this, okay? So... So let's see. So what? All right, let's. Uh... So what is a clause? Okay, what is a clause? So number one, a group of words, right? It's a group of words. It contains two things, okay, a subject, and a predicate, right? Predicate, okay, a predicate. Uh, now this contains a verb, okay? Or you can say, you know, a predicate that contains a verb, okay? Let's change this because yes, it has to have a predicate, but it's more important, guys, even more important than a verb, okay? It's a group of words that contains a subject and a verb, all right? That is, that is, guys, that is a clause. So let me ask you something, guys. If I say, Hi, 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 hi. Now, is this a group of words? Is this a group no. of words? Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. All right. So, yes, this is a group of words, right? Yes. Very good. So, yes, it is a group of words. That is correct. Okay, now it is a group of words. Now, so yeah, we have number rule number one, right? We we um we do have you know rule number one taken care of. Now, does he have a subject? Yes or no? No. 
no. No teacher. No, we don't have a subject. Okay, no subject. Do we have a verb? No. No. No, no, so, no so quick question, question for you guys. Is this a clause then? No. No. No, no. right? It's no. not a clause. Okay, right. Let's analyze something else, okay? Mm, I don't know. Um give me give me give me give me a sentence, guys. When is any sentence that you want? But man? Batman, what? Batman? Is a super is a superhero teacher. Batman is a superhero. Okay, let's analyze this. Do we have a group of words? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Do we have a subject? Yes. Yes. We have. yes. Do we yes. have a do we, do we have a verb? Yes. Yes, we have. yes. Right, and we have a complement, right? I mean, uh, the whole predicate, right? Very good. Yes. So we have yes, number one. We have uh, sub. You know, we have a group of words, right? A group of words is number one, right? So this is number one. Then we have number two, which is a su which is a subject. Then we have a verb, right? Which is part of the complement of of the predicate, right? Very good. All right. So far, so good, right? Right. Mm, right. Yes. Okay. What about this? Mm, that I like. No, hold on. You know what? Um, that are nice. Okay, this right here. Do we have a group of words? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. yes. Teacher. Do we have a subject? No. Okay. Do we have a verb? No. Yes, yes, we have a verb. Yes. Is this a clause? Yes or no? No, teacher. No? Yes. Mm. No, no, because I don't know. it's missing a subject. <laughs> So, uh, who's, hey, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, guys, there is no wrong answer, right? All right. There is no wrong answer because you guys are learning. If you were the teacher, then yeah, you need to give, give me the right answer, right? But you guys are not the teachers, right? Not yet, right? One day, one day you might be here. I don't know, right? Um, so, I know, guys. So, if, 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 you know, right, I'm going to give you the answer, okay? If this is true, okay, if this is true, guys, then yes, it is a clause, okay? Got it? Si esto es verdadero, entonces esto es una cláusula. So, is it a clause, yes or no? Yes. Where is the yes. subject? Where is the subject? If, no, if it is a clause... Okay. Where's the um, subject? That is, that, is for, uh, that is for singular noun, but the verb is in plural. Okay. Somebody said yes. Why is it a clause? If if we have tell me why do why is it a clause? Let me check because your the relative that. Reina says it depends because of the relative that. What is what is the relative that? You're getting close. I read, I, I read that can function as subject. Mm, okay, good job. Applause for Reina. Good job, guys. So I'm gonna give you the answer. The answer is yes, it is a class, okay. So I said, do we have a group of words? Yes. Do we have a subject? Yes. Do we have a verb? Yes. The subject here is that, okay? I'll, I'll, you'll, you'll understand why soon, soon enough, okay? Or is the verb, right? And we have the group of words, you know, with the whole predicate, right? Got it? So yes, right. it is a clause, guys, okay? Because that, guys, guys, in grammar, tell me something. 
what is that in grammar? What is, right? So what is that in grammar? What is it? It. What is it? It is an adverb. It is singular for it. It is the pronoun. Guys. It's an adverb. In, in grammatica, what is that? What is that in grammar? You saw, okay, so I have people saying that this is an Spartan. adverb. What else? Okay, is it an adverb? I don't know. You tell me. Pronoun. It's a pronoun. Okay. What else, guys? What else? It's a number, it's an adverb of place. It's an adverb of place, okay. An adverb of place. What else? Adjective. It's an adjective. What else? Anything else? A preposition. A preposition, okay. Pronoun. A preposition, okay. What else is it? Conjunction. A conjunction, okay. Wow, this is crazy, okay. What else, what else is it? <laughs> Guys, this looks like a piñata, you know? All right, it's like a piñata now, right? It's a lot of things. Guys, the answer is, it depends. It can be, sir, it could be, it can be two things, okay? If I say, guys, okay, so, one, one of you said that it's a pronoun. Let me ask you something. I like that apple. You know what, let's say, let's say, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Dua Lipa likes uh, that, uh, that, 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 that what guys? That dog, okay? I was gonna say something funny, but I forgot. All right, so Dua Lipa likes that dog, okay? So is this a is this a pronoun? Demonstrative pronoun. Is that a demonstrative pronoun? I'm gonna tell you what a pronoun is, guys. Okay, a pronoun replaces, right? Replaces a noun, okay? So what noun is that replacing? For example, guys, if I say he, right? He can replace Cheyenne, yes or no? Yes. If I say it, yeah. it might be replacing, I don't know, an, an yeah. apple, right? If I say they, right? I might be replacing, you know, the, the family, right? I don't know. So what is that replacing, guys? If it is a pronoun here, what is the replacing? ¿Qué está reemplazando si es un pronombre? It, perro. No, because, no, it's not replacing the dog because we have the dog here. The dog is there. A subject. Subject. What subject? What subject? The subject is here. We have the subject, right? And we have actually no. the object of the sentence here. He's replacing the name of the dog. What name of the dog? No. It's not, it's not replacing anything, guys. Even in Spanish, guys, si yo digo ese perro, ese está reemplazando un nombre, un, un sustantivo. No. No, right? What is it doing? The verb. This is an adjective, okay? It's, ah. work, it's working, right? It's working as an adjective, okay? Right? A demonstrative adjective, okay? Because it's it's talking about the dog, right? Lo que sea que hable o modifique el sustantivo, right? The noun. It's an adjective. Lo que sea, guys, okay? All right? Got it, guys? So let me ask you something. So why? So so how is this a how is this a subject if it is an adjective? Is this an adjective? Is that an adjective? Oh, teacher. It's a subject. Why? It's a subject. Can, can an adjective be a subject? 
Mm. <laughs> oh no. All right, here's what's going on, guys. Okay. All right. So guys, in grammar, guys, in grammar, nothing, all right, you, you need to have you need to have context, okay? All right, I'm gonna give you an example, okay? Uh, you need to have context because it's very important, guys, that you understand the difference, okay? All right, if, you know, you have, let's say that you have a construction worker, right, who is building a house, right? So you got, let's say this is a hammer, okay? So you got a construction worker who is building a house and he has, you know, so, you know, he's building a house, right? You know what, this is a window cleaner, okay? Because it's easy for me to draw, right? So this is a window cleaner, right? Whatever, All right? So it's cleaning a window, right? <clears throat> and his name is that, okay? Ese señor se llama that. Imagínate ponerle ese nombre a tu hijo. Hey, that, vení, right? Okay, and then we have, um, then we have another guy, you know, we have another that, right? That perhaps he is a, I don't know. He's a, he's a, he's a, um, he's what guys? Uh, he drives racing cars, right? That's, 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 that's what, what he does, okay? So he's a car racer, okay? <laughs> so anyways, okay, so, so. You know, he, he's a, so this guy right here, right? <laughs> All right, so this guy right here, guys, okay? His name is also that, okay? All right, so they can have the same name, guys, but they have two different jobs, okay? So one of them is a, you know, um, it's a race driver. And the other one is a uh, windows, well, a window cleaner, okay? But their names are the same, that and that, okay? They have the same name, but they have two different jobs. Got it? So, tienen el mismo nombre, pero tienen dos diferentes trabajos, okay? Eso es lo que pasa en gramática, all right? En gramática, Depende del trabajo que tengan, eso, eso son. Got it? Do we understand that part, guys? Okay, very good. Got it. So, Got it. So, for example, right? So, for example, in the example that I gave you before, right? We said that, um, we said that we have, you know, this, this phrase right here, right? That are nice, for example. That are nice, right? that are nice this is part of a sentence guys this is a pronoun okay why because this is called actually a relative a relative pronoun okay all right so it is a pronoun because it is substituting a noun okay but if i say guys oh i like that car in that case guys this is not substituting a noun. This is actually modifying a noun. In this case, it's not a relative pronoun. It is an adjective, okay? Okay? So, es como lo que le dije. Uno limpia ventanas, el otro es un conductor de carro de carrera. Got it? So far, so good? All right. Very good, right? Very good. Okay? So, you can notice these two because that is taking the position of a subject, okay? So let's go back to the presentation. But basically, guys, I wanted you to learn what a clause is. It's a group of words that contains a subject and a verb. Now, check this out. One more example. Okay, I'm gonna say, um, um, I came here because 
I because uh, I came here because I wanted to talk to you. All right. How many sentences do we have? A sentence, guys. A sentence is a it's a group of words that portrays a, a whole idea, okay? And that usually ends with a period, usually, right? Right? But it's a group of words, right? A sentence, right? A sentence is a group of words that shows a complete idea that usually ends with a period. All right? That is a sentence, guys. So let me ask you something. How many sentences do we have here? Do we have a group of words? Two yes, sentences. right? Yes, teacher. How many two sentences, sentences do we have here? We have two sentences. Two one sentences. sentence. Two clauses. We one have sentence. one sentence. One sentence. This is one sentence, guys. Only one. One so because we have a period here. This is a complete idea, okay? All right, we have one sentence. How many clauses do we have? One. Two. two. We have two. two we have, two we have a group of words, subject, right? Verb. And we have the predicate, right? So this is one clause, right? Remember, a group of words that contains a subject and a, and a, and a, and a verb, right? So is this a group of words that contains a subject and a verb? Yes or no? Yes, right? Yes. yes. So yes. This, is, this is clause number one. Because I wanted to talk to you. Do we have a subject? Yes. Do we have a verb? Yes. Do we have a, a predicate? Yes. So this is number two. Okay. So what's my point? Una oración puede contener dos cláusulas o tres cláusulas o cuatro. Got it? Got it. Okay. So, but it's not the same, right? Y una cláusula, una, una oración puede, obtener, puede tener una cláusula también, right? But it's not, a sentence is not the same as a clause. That's my point, right? So, so far, so good, guys. So, los dejé, los dejé más confundidos que cuando vinieron. So far, so good. Do we understand what a clause is? Ahorita todos me tienen que saber qué, qué es una cláusula. That's the only thing that you need to know. Do we all understand, guys, what a clause is? Yes? Yes, I understood. It is different words. All right. It's a group of words. Give me the definition, guys. It's a group of words that contains a subject and a verb, right? So take a look at this, guys. Take a look at this, okay? All right, so uh, I graduated last year. So how many, how, many, how many sentences do we have here? One. One, one right? One and how many clauses do we have? One clause. One clause. Why yeah. is it a clause? Why is it a clause? Because contain subject, one subject, subject. and it's a group of words and contain verbs. Exactly. Okay. How many sentences do we have here? Just one. One sentence. Just one, right? And how many clauses do we have? Two. Two clauses. We have two. When I came here and then I saw him, right? Yeah. Very good. All right, how many sentences do we have here? We have one sentence. Only one, yeah. right? One and, how many, and how many clauses? Three clauses. Three. And we have three clauses, okay? Got it? Beautiful job, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, right? Very good. All right. So now, guys, now, before we go into, into relative clauses, we have to talk about independent clauses, okay? <laughs> So anyways, that's why I told you, you need to pay attention because si no me han prestado atención hasta ahora, guys, ahorita sí vas a estar re perdido, okay? All right, ask me questions, guys. Okay, do you have any questions, guys, by the way? All right, so we all know, Teacher, right? We, uh, tell me. Uh, the clause is, uh, the noun has different words. What is a clause, guys? I'm gonna I'm gonna let everybody else answer that question for you. What is a clause, guys? The 
chair, I, I have a question to chair. Hold on, hold on. Let's answer the first question and then ask me the second question, okay? Okay. A so clause is, is mm -hmm. a group of words contain mm -hmm. subject and verb. Okay, guys, yeah. aquí, aquí les dije que era, un, que era una, una clausula, right? Aquí está la respuesta, right? Very good. Second question, next question, guys. Uh, me, teacher. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Uh, I was uh, uh, I was uh, watching the manual uh, of the of the level, and and, and I don't uh, I, I don't find the the topic uh, we are studying because I want to know to uh, to study tomorrow in the manual. Uh, can you tell me what's the number of page of the manual? I don't. Guys, um, we are going over the topics that we have in the platform, okay? Not not any manual. I don't know what manual you're talking about. We don't, that might have been something from your specific teacher before, right? Something personal, but that's not part of the agenda, okay? The agenda is the topics that we have in the platform, okay? And the platform's topic, next topic is relative clauses. That's what we're seeing. The topic that we are studying, if you want to study, uh, if you want to study about it, is relative clauses. Okay. So, no sé en qué tipo de programa les daban manuales, guys. Lo cual está bien, right? Los topics que nosotros vemos son los topics que tenemos en la plataforma. Okay. Yo voy de acuerdo con los temas de la plataforma. Todos nosotros vamos de acuerdo con los temas de la plataforma. Sí, sí, es, eh, o sea, por eso, teacher, porque este, en la plataforma hay un manual que podemos okay. nosotros accesar a ese manual, okay. pero no he encontrado el, 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 el número en donde está el tema de las, de las clauses. Relative porque, clauses. Ajá, eh, entonces eh, lo he revisado eh, ya y no he encontrado el tema porque no me ha quedado del todo claro. Entonces eh, quisiera reforzarlo. Eh, eh, ahí con el manual que siempre nos proporcionan, que por cierto, ahí está también en la plataforma, el de este módulo. Ok. Pero no lo encuentro, por eso le preguntaba. No, I don't know what page that is on, because I've, I've never used the manual there, but this is the topic. If you want to study it, right, you can come here, right? And uh, there is an explanatory video on relative clauses. Ok. Um, I don't know. I don't know what page from the manual you're talking about, but but uh, but here you can find it. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the topic that we're seeing: relative clauses. Okay, and uh, and I'm gonna explain it here. So um, so ask me as many questions as you need. Okay, but before we get to talk about relative clauses, we need to talk about clauses first, right? And we need to talk about independent clauses first. All right, so now, all you need to know right now is what a clause is, right? What, so what is a clause? We know that it's a group of words that contains a subject and a verb. Now, we need to talk, guys, about the type of clauses that we have. And the first type of clause that we have, guys, right? The, the, the first type of clause that we have is something called, we have, hold on, let me erase all this, okay? So we have, for example, uh, mm -mm. so we have, they have, let's have class, you know, classes, right? And then we have independent classes, and then we have dependent classes. Okay, so guys, I know, you know what a group of word containing a subject and a verb is, right? You know that that's, that's, a, that's a clause, right? So as an independent clause, guys, okay? If I say, guys, um, he, he really likes to eat pizza. Now, is this a full idea, guys? Yes or no? Esa es una idea, guys, completa, yes or no? He likes to eat pizza, yes or no? Does it make sense? Yes. Yes, right? Yes, yes. So it's a complete if, idea. If if it is a complete idea, guys, all right, that's called an independent clause, okay? 
An independent clause, guys, is a clause that does not need extra information to make sense, okay? Got it? So. Got it. Basically, guys, okay? Basically, an independent clause, guys, an independent clause is like, imagine that you have a pizza, okay? All right? But this pizza, guys, right? This pizza has pepperoni, right? It has cheese, right? Right? So it's complete, right? Now, a dependent clause, guys, will be like a pizza, right? Will be like, you know what? Will be like, like, uh, like a slice of pizza, okay? Like this, right? So what's going on, right? Is this a full pizza, guys? Yes or no? Pass along. Right? Full pizza, right? No, right? It's a slice of pizza. Okay, so that's a dependent clause, guys. For it to be a pizza, a complete pizza, it needs the other pieces, right? So I'm going to tell you something, okay? We're going to have, for example, the example that I gave you before. Um, that, let's see. Uh, that are correct, right? Do we have a subject here? Yes. 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 yes, we have a subject, right? Very good. Do we have a verb? Yes, right? And we have a predicate. Yes. So this, this is definitely a clause, right? Eso es una, es una cláusula. Entonces, hey, pero ¿qué le falta a esta cláusula? Context. Exactly, guys. Okay, it's missing extra information. If it is missing extra information, this is a dependent clause. Got it? So far, so good? Yes. All right. Yes. I'm gonna I know to teacher. All right. What about because, because it is perfect. Is this a clause, yes or no, guys? Because it is perfect. Yes. 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 It is a clause. Is it dependent or independent? Dependent because dependent. we don't have the complete idea. Exactly, right? But if I said, for example, oh, um, he likes. Uh, he likes his dog so much. Is this um, is this an independent clause? Yes or no? Mm, yes. It yes. Is. Okay. Very good. Okay. What about this, guys? He likes, or you know, he mm, feels fine about his results, about the results. Now, is this an independent clause, yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? So. Yes, right? He, now, check this out. What if we make them fall in love, guys, you know? And we do this. Okay, he feels fine about the results that are correct. He likes his dog so much because it's per it is perfect. So what do you think now, guys? Now, what 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 did we create, guys? What what did we just create here? A sentence. We created a sentence. That is correct. Applause, guys, for. Me, very good. Thank you. No, plus for you guys, of course, right? Plus for you, right? So, so we created a sentence. So, see, guys, a dependent clause needs add, needs this to make sense, right? See, they don't need them, right? If you say this, he feels fine about the results. Si vos pasas en la calle alguien te, y, y te encontras, no sé, tú pierdes nada y te dice, hey, él se siente bien acerca de sus resultados, esa idea tiene sentido, ¿sí o no? 
right? Tal vez se pregunta quién es él, but the idea makes sense, yes or no, guys? Yes. Right? Si te encontras a tu peor es nada en la calle y te dice, he likes his dog so much. Right? Does that need any context? For the sentence, I mean? No, right? Pero si te encontras de repente, right? Um, a tu entrador y decís y te dice, that are correct or because it is perfect. Does that make sense? You're gonna be like, what, right? Then that's a dependent clause, guys, okay? All right, estamos claros, guys, en que es una cláusula dependiente, yes or no? Or do you want me to give you more examples? Yes, it is clear for me. All right, very good, very good, okay? All right, so now, now that that's clear, guys, okay, let's analyze this, okay? So, a dependent clause, guys, okay? So we have these type of clauses, right? But we're gonna focus on dependent clauses because that is the topic that we're gonna be looking at, okay? Within, guys, dependent clauses, we have a lot of other clauses, okay? But one of them, and which is the one that we're gonna learn about is a relative clause, okay? All right? ¿Qué es una relative clause, guys? Hey, una, una clausa relativa es una clausa que es dependiente, right? That is, that is a relative clause, okay? It's a dependent clause. It's part of the dependent clauses, okay? It's parte de la categoría de clausulas dependientes, okay? Got it? Why are they called relative clauses? Because, guys, first off, okay, let's go back to the presentation, right? A relative clause, guys, hold on, let's, let's go over here, right? Uh, a relative clause depends on relative pronouns, okay? These right here, who, which, whose, whom, and that are called in this context, right? Because remember, that can also be an adjective, right? But in this context, they are called relative pronouns. Guys, this could be a W-ish question, but when we use it, guys, as a, pro as a, as a pronoun, it is not a, a W-ish word. It is a relative pronoun, okay? So I want you to write this down, guys. Write these pronouns down, or at least, guys, write this one down, this one, and this one, okay? These are the three, which are, these are the three, guys, which are the most important ones, okay? These three, okay? So these are called relative pronouns. And these are these three are the ones that we are gonna be talking about. Okay. I'm gonna give you one minute, guys, to write it that to write them down. You good? Okay, so listen. Teacher, I, I take a screenshot for a study late. Okay, thank you, thank you, my brother. I'm gonna find out, guys. Uh, I'm gonna, um, I recommend you guys, you can you can also watch the video, guys, from the platform, you know, it's it's very well explained there, but we're gonna continue with this topic, guys, um, on Monday, okay? Um, because it's it's really important that you learn this, okay? So, so I want you guys to, to remember who, which, and that. Repeat, guys. Who, which, and that. Who, which, we, and that. And that. All right. You're going to see how we use them, okay? These are called relative pronouns, okay? Why are they called pronouns? Because a pronoun does what, guys? What does a pronoun do? Cast un pronombre. What does a pronoun do? Replace the noun. It replaces a noun. Okay. Good job, guys. Right. A pronoun replaces a noun. Right. A pronoun. Replaces. Pronoun replaces a noun. Okay. So, guys, a pronoun is basically right. Right. La otra. Right. Like te reemplaza. Right. No, I'm kidding, guys. It's you know it replaces a noun. Right. So that's a pronoun. Okay. So, all right, 
So, decirle, decirle a tu pareja, quiero ser tu pronombre. No, no, don't do it, right? Quiero ser tu sustantivo, right? Very good. All right. So, okay. So, so then, guys, we have relative clauses, okay? And I'm going to tell you something. The reason why they're called relative is not complicated. They're called relative, relative guys, because they start with a relative pronoun. Repeat, guys. A relative clause starts with a relative, relative pronoun. Clause. Relative clause. Start to a relative pro pro pronoun. pronoun. Okay. Very good. Guys, entonces, una cláusula relativa inicia con un pronombre relativo. I want you to take a look at this. This is, guys, this is a, this is a subordinate conjunction, right? We're not going to talk about this. I want you to take a look at this that are correct. Is this a relative pronoun, yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. yes, teacher, yes, teacher. All right, okay, so, a ver, guys, ¿cuáles son las tres, los tres pronombres relativos que les di? Who, whom, who, who, which, that. Who, which, and that. Who, which, and that, right? Okay, yeah. who, who, which, who and that. likes to play, right? I, I want you to try this exercise, guys, okay? All right? And, hagan este ejercicio. Quiero que pretendan, guys, que who significa Cheyenne. So, for example, Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne likes to, likes, um, likes video games, okay? Right? And I'm going to substitute Cheyenne for who. Who likes video games, okay? Right? Who likes video games, right? Um, so the other class is going to be, um, which, right? Which, let's, let's pretend it's Cheyenne too, right? Cheyenne, um, plays music, right? So. Necesito que sustituyan esto que chayan con which en su cuaderno, which, right? Which, And which, I want you to say Chayan, Chayan, hold on, Chayan. Mm. Uh, Chayan, uh, what? Listen to music. With romantic lyrics. Chayan dances a lot, right? Right, dances, dances a lot. Okay, lo que quiero que hagan, guys, all right, es que quiero que me, me sustituyen, right, Cheyenne, con la palabra which and that, okay, y que completen el resto, okay? All right, so complete the rest, right? So instead of Cheyenne plays music, you're gonna say which, and instead of Cheyenne dances a lot, you're gonna say that, okay? So go ahead, guys, and give me those examples, please. All right. All right, very good. So, so guys, so Chan plays music. How does it sound with a relative, with a relative pronoun? With a relative which, pronoun, which? Which music Chayanne plays. Okay, that is incorrect, but we'll see why, okay? Guys, ¿quién tiene la respuesta correcta? Does Chayanne plays? No, 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 no. Solo le dije que sustituyen Chayanne con la palabra which y that. 
Y lo demás. Dance a lot. Very good, right? That dances, right? That dances. A lot. Very good. Entonces, which sería como? Which would be like what? Which play music. Which plays which music. music. Very good. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. All right. ¿Cuál es el punto de este ejercicio, guys? All right. Que le guste Cheyenne. No, guys. El punto de este ejercicio <laughs> es que vean que Cheyenne es un sustantivo. It's a noun, right? Cheyenne, it's a noun. Okay. You can replace, replace Cheyenne with a relative pronoun, right? Se puede reemplazar el sustantivo de Cheyenne con un pronombre relativo porque es un pronombre. Porque un pronombre, right, es como la que te quita al novio, la que te quita la novia, right? La reemplaza, right? O lo reemplaza. Yes or no? Right? Yes. That is, <laughs> that is a relative pronoun, right? Uh, I know, right? No te pongas a llorar ahorita, right? Estamos hablando de pronombres, don't worry. El inglés, el inglés nunca te va a traicionar, right? Tu pareja sí, siempre, pero el inglés nunca, right? So don't worry, don't cry about it. Okay, so... <laughs> All right, so, so that's, guys, okay? That's my point, all right? It's called a relative pronoun because it works as a pronoun because it replaces a noun, okay? That's the reason why. It replaces a noun, all right? So let's, let's take a look at the, uh, the difference here, okay? So take a look at this, guys, right? We say that's a man that stole the money right and this is an example guys before we leave i'm gonna give you like i'm gonna show you the examples that we got here okay take a look at this guys can you identify the relative pronoun identifiqueme por favor los pronombres relativos go ahead who that we have who and that and then what else which who and that and which and that right very good okay now check this out how many clauses do we have here here how many clauses do we have two we have two what is the first clause what is the first clause uh, i think the first that's is the man that's the man. man that's the man right my mother's older brother. That's the house, right? Very good, okay. And the second clause is, now, eso dice who or that, guys, because who or that can be used with people, okay? Who and that, guys, se puede usar con personas, okay? Pero solo that se puede, y which se puede usar con objetos, okay? Be careful with that, all right? So, so keep that in mind, all right? So the second clause that we have here, guys, is who offered me the job or that offered me the job, right? So we join, we are joining these two ideas together. That's the man the who chair, offered me uh, the job. Can repeat the which and that. Yes, which and that se pueden usar para objetos y animales, right? But only, but only who and that can be used for people, right? That's where we say that is the house, right? We can't say that's the house who they live. No, we can't say who. We need to say which or that. That is the house in which they sure. lived all their lives. Yes, tell me, Joanna. The, in the example, Cheyenne plays music. Uh, we use which replaces Cheyenne. Yes. So in that Wait. example... In that example, we can say that is the man, right? That is the man, right? Who plays music, okay? And who in this case, right? We can say that is the man or we can say Cheyenne is the man, right? Who is playing is, is sub, in this example, right? In this one example here, who is substituting that, right? Or actually, I'm sorry, who is actually talking about the man, right? Got it? Sure, it's correct to say. Hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Hold on. Give me one second, okay? Before it's you- It's correct to say, uh, it's correct to say, uh, 
That is the car in which I travel my job. You can say, you can say that, that is the car, right? In which I travel. In which I traveled. My job. I travel Tra travel to my workplace, yes. In which I go to my job. In which I, in which I, yeah, in which I go to my workplace, yes. That is correct, right? That is correct. Okay, so tomorrow, guys, tomorrow we are only, I mean, not tomorrow, guys, on Monday, we're going to be talking about relative clauses specifically, okay? So today, guys, you might, you need to have understood two terms already. What is, uh, what a clause is and what a dependent clause is, okay? So ahorita se tienen que ver ido con el término de que es una cláusula y que es una cláusula dependiente, got it? All right, on Monday, guys, vamos a ver exactamente relative clauses and we're gonna practice relative clauses, right? Did we All learn right. anything new today, guys? Aprendimos algo nuevo? Yes, no? Yes, we did. Yes. Yes. All right, very good, very good. Very good. Okay. Stingy, right? Very good. So guys, um, um, we're gonna see each other, guys, until Monday. Enjoy, guys, sleep, right? Acuérdense, guys, si... Um, uh, acuérdense si, si no, no tomen, right? Pero si toman, invítenme, right? But <laughs> no, uh, so enjoy, guys. Enjoy the rest of the week, right? Enjoy your weekend. Complete the platform, right? And I'll see you on Monday, guys. Take care. See you, see you teacher. Take Bye, care. Teacher. See you, teacher. See you, guys. See you, see you Monday. See you.